been a solution for 48 years, and it, it seems only yesterday. I was the, the son of a prison officer who used to live and work around prisons. Uh, so from early on, uh, because my dad uh, was promoted quite often, we had to move. And for that reason, I went to eight different schools. We moved quite a lot. And everywhere that we went, we found within a few hours sometimes a Catholic church and a Catholic community, which made me feel very, very uh, impressed by church and the way that church was there for everybody. And the other thing in my childhood that was quite uh, traumatic was that I was looking after my brother on the bus, uh, Chris, and I, uh, sadly, he jumped off the bus before me and was run over and died on the road. So that cut right to the heart of our whole family and there was a huge amount of sadness. But as a nine-year-old, I wanted to know where Chris was and what the reasons were for his death. So even at a young age, I was really struggling with deep questions of meaning. And as we moved around and went from church to church, I found that the only people with the answers to those deeper questions of meaning for a young person was the church. And so when it came to deciding what I wanted to do, a really important thing for me was to be uh, among young people and trying to answer the question of meaning about their lives and the direction of their lives. And that was a real passion for me. And so when I went away to become a priest, that was why I went. Um, one of the experiences I had as a, a young man was kneeling in church one evening. I know exactly the time and the place. And just kneeling in front, front of the Blessed Sacrament. And I, I don't know why I stayed in this darkened church, but I, I stayed there for quite a while. And I had an experience there that was deeply spiritual. Uh, in the end, somebody had to come and fetch me because I, I must have been there a couple of hours. But it felt to me like two minutes. And that, that kind of experience confirmed the kind of direction I was thinking about. And then working with young people directly as a solution I found that great joy and a huge passion to help them to grow, to help them to thrive. And also the, the, the spirituality of the Good Shepherd, being kind, gentle, optimistic, cheerful, and so on. All of that was helping me to grow spiritually and also bringing young people to life. So for the last 48 years, I think I've tried to live that vocation. And I think for me, it's the place I need to be. And I feel that God's presence is all around me. And every time we sit down in the morning to meditate, we breathe in that presence of God. And it allows us to go out to others and find the strength to raise the level of cheerfulness and optimism and joy in young people based on the God who loves us all.